One thing is certain for all these fixtures, we say uh, they share history, Baba Tunde. As an Bayern Munich share history, uh, if it be like the beating of <laughs> more like a beating history uh, from Bayern. Uh, for PSG and Baka, they share similar history as well. Uh, let's not forget that uh, 4 0 or uh, whitewashing of, uh, of uh, uh, PSG of, uh, of Baka in, in Paris. And then Baka said, okay, we'll wait for now for Camp Nou. And uh, Neymar. Of course, and in Goose, Messi uh, destroyed, yes, PSG that day. Papa Tunde, PSG Baka. In terms of form, form this season, you know, Baka they try, Baka, you know, you know they, 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 they push, it, but they're not that spectacular as of uh, like last two seasons or last four seasons when the, uh, they managed to destroy PSG. For PSG on their part, you know, with the fact that Mbappe wants to leave, he wants to sign off on a strong note, he wants to, you know, leave something for the fans to cheer or smile about. Now, ordinarily, you could, this can count for final match. You know, this should be the type of match that we want to have as a final. But uh, they don't serve us this one for quarter final. How do you see by PSG and, of course, uh, uh, Baka? It's going to be an interesting matchup. Um, the fact that um, PSG. Uh, more or less like an Arsenal. When you talk about Arsenal versus um, uh, Bayern Munich, mm. these are two teams. One has won the Champions League six times. Mm. Arsenal has never won. Mm. And in this uh, one, uh, PSG has never laid their hands on the Champions League trophy, mm. while Barcelona has won it five times. Mm. And the last time was 2019-2020 season. And uh, the truth is, it's going to be a very interesting game. Uh, the fact that PSG has never laid their hands on this particular trophy makes it more interesting because... Um, if there is anything that the Arabian owners of um, Paris Saint-Germain want, they want to lay their hands on the uh, UEFA Champions League trophy. Uh, trophy. Mm. But the truth is, I don't think this is their season. Mm. And uh, I doubt if they have the credentials and the capabilities to get past Barcelona, despite the fact that Barcelona has not really been firing on all, all cylinders, especially mm. under Xavi Hernandez mm. this season. Mm. You consider the fact that um, they've, been putting their, they've been putting so much trust mm. on the likes of Pedri, uh, uh, Yamin Lamar, mm. those young stars, mm. guys that, as far as I'm concerned, are still sucking breast when it, in terms of football. But um, the truth is, it's going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, the fact that the first leg is going to be played at the Parc de Prince uh, makes it more juicier for Barcelona because, um, in their minds, they will be hopeful that they can get a very good result in the first leg and get the job done at the at um, their home ground, the Olympic Stadium, in the second leg. But the truth is, it's an interesting matchup, a David Vardy so, so Goliath kind of game. You, you, think, but, you, you think so? You think so? Yes. Who be, who be the Goliath? Uh, right? uh, at this moment in time, I think um, PSG is, uh, is, is the David, mm. while Barcelona is the Goliath. Because mm. despite the fact that they are going to parade young stars, I think they still have the psychological edge. Mm. Because uh, PSG, for me, uh, despite the fact that they've not really faced stiff opposition mm. in the in the league hall, huh? mm. because um, they are just ten points above um, uh, Brest mm. in, in in the league hall huh? mm. uh, 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 championship. Mm. But, but the truth is, when you look at these two teams and you consider the antecedent of the coaches in charge of both teams, mm. uh, what makes it more interesting again is the fact that a certain Luis Enrique mm. is in charge of um, uh, uh, of PSG. PSG. He's more or less like an homecoming for him, True. but. When you look at the start, you consider the players, you put their, the psychological advantage that do, the two teams might have. Mm. I think um, all fingers are pointing at Barcelona to nick this one. All right. Uh, who you think should then go put through for the semi-finals uh, uh, between uh, uh, PSG and Baka? For Baba Tundojo, uh, he believes that, uh, you know, this one, Baka should, you know, find a way to pull through based on form. Even though PSG, they talk uh, Ligon, but uh, he said, no, now I know really can't. Who do you think will pull through? Yes, uh, between PSG and uh, Baka.